out here in the gym barn and decided to do instead of a normal typed out newsletter instead today we are going to do an audio newsletter again but this one is going to be a little bit more active so we are in the very tail end of the principle five of our muscle building series for blind people and today we're going to be talking about active recovery in order to make sure we're not just hitting the gym for 45 minutes four times a week and then doing nothing else instead using our fitness and making sure we're staying moving in order to help us recover faster and be able to do more the next time we're in the gym so today I'm out here in the barn and again we're talking active recovery and how I'm going to do that is if we flip me do this treadmill so I also have the reverse hyper here we tend to hit that a good bit in order to open up the back and keep the glutes firing really well and put some more uh, healthy work into the low back but if I'm able to walk and really stride out that's going to be really helpful for me as well this is a self-propelled treadmill so all i have to do is brace against it and um, be able to keep it rolling so i really like this because as a blind person you're able to make sure you're able to pick your own cadence and all and it's actually pretty cool with the treads here they feel really good on your feet so as long as i'm not rounding over here staying nice and tall being able to stride out this is a great way for me to get my active recovery in Active recovery is incredibly important because it's going to help all those metabolites and all that soreness be able to flow back through. We're also going to be able to be, get a little bit of a cardiovascular benefit from this stuff. And it's also a bit of a mental relief. So instead of sitting around, then all of a sudden it's really hard to be in the gym, we're going to have that nice middle ground of being able to do some stuff while also not trying to be super, super taxing, but also again, not being too lazy and sitting on the couch. So it really helps us to develop a lot of different capacities while not wearing us out too much. And the more you do this type of stuff, the better you're gonna feel and the better you're gonna recover, be able to have even better workouts or then be able to have some fun adventures. So me doing this is gonna equivalent to me being able to like go for a fun hike and then it'd be only a slight challenge instead of this really big insurmountable overwhelming thing. So I'll be used to the walking and then just have to learn to navigate whatever trail I'm on. Other ways you can do active recovery as a blind person besides a good safe environment like this is find another safe environment where you're not overwhelmed by the systemic stress or people in the way or anything like that. You can push a sled back and forth at the gym. You could walk around the driveway. We got our big paper driveway out there and uh, be able to do different things like that. Other things can be just some gentle stretching, moving around, doing some standing hip flexor stretches, whatever, even if the TV or something is on. You can be moving around, doing that a little bit more actively instead of being a couch potato. And um, another thing that comes to mind is something like some uh, stationary cycling or yoga, something like that. Whatever gets you moving and isn't really too stressful on the system, it's gonna be really great in order to push that active recovery and help you build healthy muscle while not gaining a ton of fat. If you want other tips like this and many more, feel free to sign up for the newsletter um, on canandablefitness.com, C-A-N-E and A-B-L-E fitness.com. Scroll down a little bit, sign up for our newsletter. You'll be able to get a lot more tips and tricks, different little series. Um, we'll be doing a fat loss protocol here soon. We're able to actually join the group and be part of the accountability group in order to lose some fat, get ready for summer and everything, and have some lessons in there in order to help you learn better how to use different tools in order to lose fat as a blind person and then we have way more way more planned and coming at you so the newsletter is the best place to find that also subscribe here to the youtube channel um please like help grow the channel and help us get the word out about how to be fitter and fitter and healthier much happier and more capable as a blind person take care